In Volusia County, sea turtle nesting season is from May through October each year. This is the time when female sea turtles emerge from the surf, usually at night, and make nests along the shore. Jennifer Winters, Volusia County's Habitat Conservation Plan Manager, estimates more than 400 nests get laid each nesting season. And with each nest having as many as 100 eggs, that is a lot of baby sea turtles being born right here in Volusia County. We commonly see the leatherback, green, and loggerhead sea turtles each year. Occasionally we'll have a rare Kemp's Ridley sea turtle nest here as well. Volusia County and Florida combined are very important habitats for the loggerhead sea turtle and the continued survival of the species. Working to protect this unique marine environment, in 1996 Volusia County developed and implemented a detailed and federally approved habitat conservation plan. The plan outlines actions the county takes and more importantly what beach visitors, beachfront property owners, and beach motorists can do to ensure that female sea turtles can nest uninterrupted and that hatchlings can emerge and make it safely to the ocean. So each morning the volunteers come out looking for the new sea turtle crawls and it's important to mark the crawls as soon as possible in the morning because the tracks will quickly be erased. Um, it's also important that they mark each nest so that we can open the beach to vehicle driving. The nests are identified uh, usually pretty easily by thrown sand at the apex of the crawl. Um, that is an indicator that there's usually eggs buried in the sand. And they don't necessarily dig up the eggs or see the eggs um, because they're, they're underneath the sand. They just look for these identifying um, characteristics. Once found, these nests are clearly marked with a sign and stakes are placed around its perimeter. But walking by and seeing this staked off area may be confusing for beach visitors as the nest and eggs won't be visible. Sea turtles are, are a little different than a lot of other turtles that you may see lay a nest and stay nearby. A sea turtle doesn't stay near its eggs. It re once it drops the eggs, it goes back into the ocean not to be seen again. Um, so when you see a nest area that's clearly marked, there are eggs located here in the sand somewhere. Now while the county, beach safety, and sea turtle volunteers are doing their part to ensure a successful nesting season, it also takes the effort of beach visitors. Some of the ways to help ensure a successful nesting season include parking vehicles to the east of the conservation poles, using designated dune walkovers to protect the fragile habitat, observing the nests and wildlife from a distance, and removing all of your trash when you leave the beach. According to Winters, the other important factor in ensuring a successful nesting season is limiting the amount of lighting illuminating onto the beach. It's important that the lights don't illuminate the beach because the sea turtles um, can be deterred from nesting in that area and also if it continues when the turtles are hatching out of nest, the hatchlings can be attracted to that lighted beach area uh, away from the ocean. As part of the Habitat Conservation Plan, Volusia County has a sea turtle lighting ordinance in effect from May through October that restricts the amount of light that can illuminate the beach as well as prohibits the source of light being visible from the beach. The ordinance affects all beachfront property on the east side of Atlantic Avenue and the properties directly on the west side of Atlantic Avenue. They need to ensure that their lights on their property are not visible from the beach or illuminating the beach. Now Winters and the sea turtle staff recommend property owners check their properties each year at night to ensure they are in compliance as the beach environment is constantly changing. And the sea turtle staff offers free inspections and all kinds of tips to help citizens bring their property into compliance. We have a lot of simple suggestions that we give to people. One of them is to start out with a, a thin piece of metal or plastic or even cardboard and go to your problem lights and play around with it and see if you can create some of your own shielding to modify your existing fixtures. It's the most cost-effective cost method. You can purchase a lot of things out on the market. We, there's things available such as bulbs with shielding already built into them. Um, they're very effective. And there's also fixtures that are, that are already um, designed in such a way that the light source wouldn't be visible on the beach. If you're out along Volusia County's beaches at night during sea turtle nesting season and you want to use a flashlight, make sure you use an LED flashlight or a flashlight with a red film cover. Red is known to be less disruptive to sea turtles. These properties along Volusia County beaches are a good example of 
of good, safe lighting for sea turtles and people. Um, the, the properties have been modified with their lights shielded uh, to only be visible on the property and not illuminating the beach, which we need to keep dark for, for successful sea turtle activity. As the sea turtle experts say, let the only light they see be moonlight. For Volusia Here and Now, I'm Shelley Safranic.